Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, my review, and today I'm here back with another video. And in this video, I will be talking about Samsung Galaxy S11, its leaks, and its some new feature which are going to be applied in the device. So in this video, basically, I'm going to talk about the cameras and the fingerprint scanning technology which they are going to refine in the Galaxy S11. So stay tuned till the last of the video so that you won't miss out any of those things. Samsung Electronics will be adopting optical 5x zoom camera module for its upcoming Galaxy smartphone, tentatively named as Galaxy S11, scheduled to be launched on the first half of 2028 MWC. The modules will be supplied by sister from Samsung Electromechanics, which began mass production of the 5x zoom camera module in May this year. The first batch was applied to China's flagship smartphone series and industry watchers note the optical zooming camera usually has preference because pictures remain intact even when they are enlarged but companies choose just 2x or 3x optical zoom in their device because the 5x zoom makes the device quite a bit thick. The optical camera module in Samsung Galaxy S11 will come with a periscope type which prevents the module from sticking out of the back of the phone. The China's Oppo featured a similar 5x optical zoom at the Mobile World Congress in 2017, I guess. Israel-based company Core Photonics which has worked together with Oppo at that time was acquired by Samsung Electronics this year. This has triggered speculation at the time that the Samsung Galaxy series would adopt similar periscope type zoom. So this is quite confirmed about the periscope zoom but let me mention you another thing that the device will be packed with 108 megapixel of cameras which is also confirmed and there is certain rumor that there will be quad camera setup which I obviously think there will be and the 108 megapixel is going to be used for wide angle photography so this is all about cameras and obviously the video on the background you saw was officially from samsung which explained the take actually so now moving towards the next point which is about the fingerprint scanner in the galaxy s11 so in galaxy s10 we saw some revolutionary take from Samsung which used ultrasonic fingerprint scanning technology and in the Galaxy S11 that's not gonna change but many users complained that the fingerprint scanning area of the Galaxy S10 or the Note 10 is quite small which is 36 square millimeters so now in the Galaxy S11 the area is going to be increased to 64 square millimeters so that there will be more accuracy and users won't find that difficulty while unlocking their smartphone. So these are the two main things which we know so far. So if any further specifications are out, then we will obviously publish another video to address that in our channel. So if you have not subscribed our channel yet, then go ahead and do subscribe our channel so that you can know about these all kind of smartphones leaks and specifications and maybe even other further things in future coming days who knows so this is all for today guys if you enjoyed the video then give us a big thumbs up and share the video comment and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel to see all those kinds of updates so this is all for today guys hope to see you in the next one peace